Just want to reach out to all the members and their families and wish you the very best of season's greetings at the end of this incredible year where we've had um, the challenges put in front of us and one by one we've dealt with them. We've delivered in the shipping after 20 or 30 years of abuse from the Liberal National Party in Canberra to take away our right to work that have ripped us out of ships that have dismantled an industry that is essential to the national interests, that's essential to national defence, that is essential to the community of Australia, and they don't care. And we've been able to forge through the Strategic Task Force a set of 18 recommendations that will rebuild, rebuild the Merchant Navy and put Australians in their right place, up the gangway with an Australian flag carrying their own domestic cargoes. And I've just come from the Prime Minister and the Minister for Transport who remain committed to get that done in this term. And we'll be on their hammer. Uh, that's what we do. Make sure it happens, like we did at Spitzer. And I end out an agreement under tremendous pressure where the company were trying to go back to the award. And that's happening at DP World now, where they refuse to negotiate or turn up. And at the same time, that they're trying to change our rosters that give us quality of time, particularly at times like this, Christmas and weekends, to see our families thrive and to have decent lives away from the job. We delivered an agreement at Patrick's that went forward and secured uh, decent conditions and kept the, the quality and, and the value of our wages and our working lives uh, properly identified. We've been through a quadrennial election and we've ended up with a new leadership, a leadership that remains committed and has the full endorsement of the membership to go forward, to continue to be a steward and a representative of our collective interests with you. And that provides opportunities to help others in the robbery at sea and nowhere to hide, all the exploitation and the slavery aboard ships. That's what's taking our seafaring jobs away. That's what's degrading and negating a world of increasing polarisation and wealth. And we're looking out for that as well, the Palestinians and the terrible civilian cross, you know, of what's going on in there. And that's our responsibility too. We've never turned our back on the needy. We've never turned our back on the people that need help. We are committed to solidarity, a solidarity that builds our strength and doesn't weaken it a political solidarity, an industrial solidarity. And of course, that comes back to us with the enormous respect we enjoy, not only in Australia, in the trade union movement and the progressive movement, but around the world. It's a time of great celebration and opportunity for us. So let's go forward together. I know many of you will be working and continuing, regardless of the lies and the vilification that we continue to get in the media. We just get on with the job and keep the country going. And they can lie about us all they want. We know where the truth is. We believe in our jobs, we're good at our jobs, we're professional at our jobs, they are safe and we've made them good jobs. And we're going to keep them, and we're gonna keep them on the basis of respect from the employer, respect from the government, and respect from the international ship owner and those people that use our labour and need to recognise that with that comes an obligation and a responsibility to us. So let's enjoy each other's company and our family and let's look forward to going forward in exactly the same way we always have, together in a way that enriches our lives and enriches the lives of other people along the way. No better way than live your life than that, comrades. Have a good one.